I don't know what you're pinging at. I mean, I see where you're, where you're pinging. I don't know what you would be pinging at. Where are you pinging? Right here. Oh, um, no. There was. Okay. I I believe I searched. What was my last? No, no, you didn't search that. Oh, I thought I did. Okay, I did not. Let me make a roll. Uh, 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 uh. If you have guidance, I could use it on this search roll here. I mean, uh, do perception. You can see the footprints, which I see is what lessons is indicating. Yeah, seventeen. Seventeen on my perception. Everybody. You find a secret door. <gasps> Goodness gracious. I check it for traps. There are no traps. I'm going to check the room beyond for traps. With the natural 20. Did you successfully locate the lack of traps. Fantastic. Um, behind this, or right in this top corner here, I'm going to look for secret doors. 19. What do you know? Secret door? It's hey. a door! There was something funny with that, but we could only tell from this side. Ah, it's All skeleton! Right. <laughs> Hi, guys. Let's get that rope back. Um... Well, that was fun. Place cross first before taking the rope back. Yeah. Now we'll just leave him there. He got a comfy bed. So the kobolds put the troll in there, and the pit is there to keep it in. And then they can, they, like the troll can't get out through this big, this tiny hallway. So they kind of like, I don't understand. But that's okay. Lads, do you not dragon. recognize a dragon priest when you see one? No. No. That's one of the old worshippers of the dragon cult that used to make its lair here. He was an undead, don't you see? Now he's dead, dead, I suppose. Well, it would be just like them to keep one of themselves around for a millennia, then strike up some sort of brand new plan. Uh, but I suppose that's uh, fallen by the wayside for them. Ah, by Palo's light, we put an end to it, then. So, we got this tiny little room here. Um, Just for fun, I'm going to check the... Uh... Sorry. This back wall for secret doors, just in case it's symmetrical. 19? Stubbornly resists your attempts to pass through it. <laughs> Stupid stone. I mean, to be fair, though, I have us looking at other hallways like those little footprint things. See if the entire place is connected with... Right? Because it looks kind of like up here. Those kind of like footprints, too. It's like is there a whole closet network of tunnels? Yeah, right. That closet was probably watching us the whole time. Yeah, we got the closet Viet Cong going on. Well, see, that's what I thought. Like you said, when I checked over here, and I thought, because his head was popping out, I thought, oh, maybe just watching us come in. <laughs> maybe the GM didn't just leave it there by mistake. Sure, let's go with that story. Too late. You had the opportunity when I rolled a 19. No, I mean the fact that I didn't leave it there by mistake. Well, I mean, there's still a couple rooms we haven't gone through in here yet. Let's be let's be completionist about this. Although they said the kobolds said they don't want to see us again. Yeah, and you're good at stealth. <laughs> yeah, but then they'll see you. No, I just won't then... go with you. Oh. Cast message. Oh, I come back over here. Uh, follow me. Five foot behind. Do, 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 do. And this is still like, closed. 
Um, am I able to take my whatever tool spike I put in there to um, reset the trap after we're all over it? Uh, not without setting it off. Well, if you're all over it, then it doesn't matter if you set it off again. But I'll, um, I can pick the spike up with Mage Hand from a distance, so I'll do that. That you can do. Are these globes worth anything? Uh, they're all cracked and damaged. Not the one that was lit up before. The light's gone out of that one. Yeah, but I mean, is it worth anything as a decorative piece? No, it, it's simply, simply a stone sphere. Oh, it's stone. I was thinking like crystal or something. Let's get out oh. of here. Hey, my God, guys, there's a pile of dead bodies in this room. Ah, yes. <laughs> Who could have done something like this? Alexander, was it you? Yes, I killed these men. Uh, well, if it was you and it wasn't me, then I guess we just don't know what to do about this. Oh, better take him with us. <laughs> yes, we re we recover the bodies. And I think there was a cart before we even came in here that we can uh, put them on. I doubt that, considering back. there's a large stairwell we have to climb to get out of here. Seems really well, I mean, obtuse I mean, to put a out, cart down here. Outside of the Citadel, I mean. Yes, it was because they it was raided by the goblins by the kobolds. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to drag the bodies all the way back. Well, you must you gather your party burying them upstairs. Forth. Aren't you? Yeah. Well, that's where we'll do it. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, geez. no! You got you got to go deeper with it. I know. That guy has a real good voice. Uh, oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> Hero, your health is low. Watch that. <laughs> you may not rest here. There are enemies <laughs> about. Somebody else owns this bed. <laughs> Go for the eyes, boo. All right, let's go up the stairs. All right, so you uh, you emerge from from the citadel into the watery light of morning. It's good to be ah. out in the sun and the the air again. The Literally depression not, the not true. rolls off of you. <laughs> Literally not <laughs> not true for the drow. You hiss. Yeah, go outside, enjoy the sun, stretch out. Well then, yeah. Oathblaze, you brought a shovel, right? We could return to the remains if we put them on the cart. Yes. Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> but, however, we did loot these bodies, so maybe that's not a good plan. Maybe just the ring and we bury them here. Well, I mm -hmm. do have the ring with us. No, we simply recovered what they had, and uh, we talked to their families, and I'm sure they will uh, understand that we won't the, be giving they, it back. They had been looted by the kobolds. Okay. No. Look, they tried to kill us. I do not give a shit. Their stuff is my stuff now. All right. They didn't try to kill us. They were controlled. They're already dead, by the way. I do not care under what mental state they were when they tried to kill us. They tried to kill us. It matters. I'll remember that when you try to kill us someday under some mind control. Thank you. He do you think it. it's going to take mind control? No, if he gets mind controlled, he is charmed and attacks us. I have the right of mm -hmm. self-defense. <laughs> anyway, oh. let's go up. Yep, so it does sound like a uh, long climb and then a long ride back home. All right, are, are you uh, are you burying the corpses before you before you go, or are you taking them back to town with you? Oh, please? No. I think we should take them back. One, of them, is here. A, one of them is a paladin, so we should go back to rest in holy ground. And we are taking them all the way back. Let's load up before we leave. 
Yes. Every time there was spoils of war, I wrote it down with this little notebook. There are so many. Would uh, you like to do the split then? There's so many things that we've that we've been gathering, but not sure where we've been keeping them. So maybe we've just been keeping little I collections mean, as we went. The only stuff that I wrote down was the stuff that I actually took. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, um, I mean, specifically, like, the stuff that only I found. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, like, all the gold and all the silvers and everything like that, that's all I assume that you had it, Matt. All right. Um, we should invest in a in a bag of holding for the party, because oh, yeah. I can barely... Seems like this I town can, has it. I can barely... Yeah, right? I can barely lift a bag of holding on its own. So. High high ambitions. I'm not <laughs> saying that I bear a grudge. I'm just saying that the assholes in town wouldn't buy a brand new crossbow. So I doubt there's a bag of holding to be had. Okay, okay. Um, I'm looking at our list of stuff that we got, and stuff like the greatsword was claimed. Is that something that um, Oathways has been using? No, I haven't. I you thought you did. Right. I mean, I have the long sword. I don't know about any greatsword. I'm just going to read. A bunch of stuff. The only I'm confusion the, I remember was over the uh, the armor that I claimed first, and then realized I wasn't good for me, and then I tried to give it to Oathblaze, and Oathblaze didn't want it either. Okay. Um, there was a, a suit of studded, studded leather armor. Um, there's a ton of leather armor, um, and short bows, short bows, scimitars, shields, spears, javelins, all that stuff. We probably don't care that much about that, especially if we can't really sell it in town. Resale business. Uh, I took, uh, for reference, I did take the studded leather armor and a bow and some arrows. We okay. go up top, we spend all that gold on renting a building where we start a... Uh, <laughs> what's the name of the town? Oakcrest? Oakdale. Oakhurst. Oakhurst. Oakhurst yes. Goodwill. Where we um, resell <laughs> donated adventurer's goods. Stuff that was actually useful was stuff like this gold ring that was engraved with Caracas. Um, you know, all of, all of the treasure, treasure stuff. Um, mm -hmm. there was chain mail. Did anybody take that? I forgot. That might've been the thing that, uh, I was just talking about that I thought was good. And oh yeah. Yeah. It turns was, out to right. be heavy and it's like, no, I don't want heavy armor. And then, yeah. Whereas the chain shirt is what you're looking for. I'm looking for okay. half plate. It's what I'm looking for. Oh, okay. It's just such a um, pinky. I, I don't understand. Yep. I will write this stuff up and maybe we can just fit it all in the cart right now and then bring it all back and then um between games right. we can split the stuff up yeah okay right well we'll get to town we'll discuss it okay yes. great okay. i mean i will i will admit to what i have secretly written down on my own sheet <laughs> although not so secretly because it was said out loud the things that i found in the pocket of it you remember those mm -hmm. tiny jade figurines i've got those I, I sure do the green dye the paintbrush the caltrops that i gathered up and put into a bag uh, and the scrolls of Scorching Ray, Melf's Acid Arrow, the Tome of Dragon Lore that uh, I saved from that burned library. Oh yeah, that was a good save. And the Nightcrawler Whistle that I still have. Other than that, I think Mal has everything else written out. Yeah. I do. Gotta wonder, who has the stickier fingers? Nat or Alexander? Huh? <laughs> well... <laughs> In my defense, a lot of the stuff that I've pocketed was stuff that you guys just walked past, and I was like, hey, what about those figurines? Yeah, stuff that we technically and use, therefore it's automatically yours. Congratulations. That all had GP value. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you're headed back to town? Yep, rousing adventure back to town. Uh, when we get back up to the surface, I command the uh, skeleton to bury itself and wait for uh, two successive beats against the ground, followed by three successive beats, followed by two successive beats. I don't think that this that intelligent. Don't it's going to be a very sad and surprised tap dancer in the future. It follows <laughs> commands, and all it has is the last command. So that is its last command. I... Uh... Did I lose internet or something? Oh, no. Uh, Can you not hear us? No, I, I just, for some reason, I couldn't load the page. There we go. Ah, All okay. right, so. um, your, your skeleton has so buried himself. Itself. Shouldn't make mm -hmm. assumptions there. Um, 
as you uh, as you approach Oakhurst, do you hear the sounds of battle? Oh dang! Should we rush up or should we sneak up? I suppose that depends on how much you care about the town, Nat. Both lace. Let's go. You've rightly assessed the people that care about the town. <laughs> yeah. I I will move forward, yes. All right, I'll stick I'll stick with the the heroes. All so right. You, you get back to Oak Cursed and everywhere you see people fighting off what appear to be bunches of little twigs and sticks. No oh, dang. Uh-huh. I set the tree on fire. Little twiggies. I said my my uh also we're giants. My blade <laughs> Blade ablaze, and I move forward. I have no idea how it would have caught once, fire. Uh, yeah, and once that twig blade's engaged, I'm going to shoot at it with a uh, sneak attack because it's engaged. Right. Oh, initiative. I, I will also probably go ahead and ask in uh, uh, the GM and say, so we're going to treat this battle map more or less as a normal battle map, but with the yes. narrative assumption it's taking place across the street. So all the exactly. stuff is fine. Perfect. That's good. Wait, what did you say, Griff? Everybody's this is basically died. the map that's going to act exactly like a normal battle map, just that it takes place across the normal city. Across no, the, the town city. Side. Sorry, I thought you said across the street. I'm like, what? The? <laughs> maybe I did say that, or maybe I'm dumb, but... Uh... Yeah, no. Sorry, don't have more money to spend on the game this week. <laughs> don't worry. Just, no, don't ask, uh, just don't ask Griff <clears throat> to have us retreat if there's a river around. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right. Yeah, that's, a, so, that's a two-year-old burn right there. Alexander. I'm trying to remember it now. Lancer. Oh, right. Head over to the farms. We're splitting up. Apparently. Attacking? Apparently. I like to explain things as though I have no control of my character. I don't know (laughs) what he's doing, man. I'm just sitting here narrating. He's moving (laughs) around the map. Dice are being rolled. I'm just a surprise to the rest of you guys, you know. <laughs> it's a thing that happens. All right, so 13 oh, hits. 13 hits. Or 16 hits. 12 damage. All right. Down it goes. Fawn Oath Blaze. Attack. Bubba Clubba. That's a hit. Eight points of damage. One of them is a fire. Oh, and it's going to continue to be on fire, right? Is that a, is that a cantrip Ooh. or is that a spell? Or is that a spell? Uh, Very cool. Is it an actual spell or is it using a spell slot? Like, oh, um, it's a spell. It's a spell. Yes. Okay. I didn't know yeah, if it was like a spider or not. Spell. Right. Seven is seven is the uh, actually DC eight it, it let well once it's turned if it's not the but... contract right. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. He, I didn't. I failed to notice that he was not moving. <laughs> Welcome back. He's dead. I'm back. All right. The so where were we? Actually worked. Uh, I struck with a 23, did 7 points of damage, uh, edged, and 1 point of fire damage. Ah, beautiful. All right, so that twig blight falls. I didn't do that twig blight. This is the one that did. And we'll go over here to deck this one next. But that's, that's my roll done. All right. Um, so if that one's dead, then if you were engaged with that one, then I don't need to do my hide thing. I'm just going to take a shot. Uh, 
Why are you it. shooting at which one? This one, if it's engaged with Oath Blaze. This one. All right. So that hits. All right. Let's do damage and sneak attack. Oh, the Lady of the Lake has emerged. I'm going to call that a uh, 11 damage dead twig blight. That is a dead twig blight, yes. And I'm also going to move and stay next to Oath Blaze. All right. Nat. Good. And my my turn is done. Well, that comes to me then next. Yes. Okay. I will go ahead and uh, continue forward with Oath Blaze. And I'm going to go ahead and cast a spell somewhere out here. Uh, this is going to be Flaming Sphere. Uh, do, do, do. Can I click it? There we go. Uh, it doesn't give you all the text, but essentially I get to have a Flaming Sphere hanging around for a whole minute. And as a bonus action, I can move it around and have it bop people. Uh, in which case, this thing is going to need to make a DC 13 save against 6 damage. Deck save, so plus 1 to this. Wah, wah. Uh, and it's fire, right? It is fire. It is a flaming sphere. Rolling <laughs> All right. So and which one are you killing? I mean, hitting? Uh, this one right here. All right. So, thump. It uh, is dead. Also, game rule to note, anything that ends adjacent to it takes damage. Like the building that it's on. <laughs> Are you sure you mentioned those? Don't set the town on fire. Uh, set as little of the town on fire as possible. We got rid of all the tumbleweeds. The buildings did not survive. <laughs> I know, Theta, you once tried to destroy an entire palisade with this, but I don't think it's that destructive inherently. Uh, I think I cast it at a higher level or something. We were uh, we were a more advanced game, because remember, I had a whole army of undead at that time. Oh yeah, definitely. And the Twiggies come in. All right, so the Twig Blights have noticed your aggression and are uh, moving into attack. And Alexander, I'll hit you for one. Nope. Or not. I'm not afraid of Twig Blights. Erky. Yeah, sure, you when I wake up in the middle of the night once prying my mouth open. <laughs> Erky's going to cast Sacred Flame. I've seen enough Evil Dead to know to what oh, to be afraid of when it comes to <laughs> weird vines and trees in the woods. Mm -hmm. Twig rape, twig rape, twig rape. The Evil Dead were fucked up movies, but I love Bruce Campbell. Seriously. Alright, so there's that. Alex, you're up. All right, well, I'll attack the one that attacked me. That's a hit. 11 damage. And as usual, it falls to pieces. I wonder why the tents are multicolored. Uh, because people like pretty colors. Yeah, but I mean, what's their use? What are they doing? What's going on in town? Them. Oh, those must be like shopping stalls right there. That's like a, the market. Well, I'd assume oh, they do have like these pretty little like rose gardens right here. That's, that's cute. And you're setting it all on fire. What the fuck, man? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> eh, they'll grow back better next year. I don't like the arrangement. Oath Blaze, you're up. Alright. Over here. Can I take this one? Uh, might I suggest five more feet forward? Just an 11 hit? An 11 does not hit. Otherwise, you're going to be set on fire by his fear. If you don't move away. Yeah, right there. Perfect. 
conversely, he can mock you and uh, pretend it's Paylor itself making an appearance as fiery ball of the sun. Yes, quickly, praise the sun, head towards the light. You're you're like hmm. a moth, right? Yeah, you're just going to just stand in place. They're all going to come to you and yeah, roll it around. That's going to be great. That's, um that's his first name, right? Mothman von Oathblaze. Mothman. Uh I guess it's my turn. So, um I'm going to shoot this one to the right here that Alexander's fighting. Do a uh, attack with advantage. That'll it. Yeah. I still feel like that's wrong every time I do it, like attacking with advantage just because of ally is next to it. But Because the name yeah, of the nope. thing is... Confusing. Nope, that falls under your sneak attack. Pew, pew. All right. Um, so that one's dead. What am I going to do? I'm going to basically just kind of be in a... I'm going to stay right where I am because I think they're just going to keep coming to us. And Yeah, I'm going to bonus action hide for fun. You're hiding in the garrison. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. 16, well, everybody... I'm hidden. I had to zoom okay. in because I thought it said arson. <laughs> I'll go ahead and open up with moving this thing around these parts, and I'm going to have it go ahead and bump into this guy. So, uh, that is just a bonus action to do all that. Uh, and that, DC 13 for 5 damage. That's a dex save, so plus 1 to this. Wow. Not enough, and with double damage, that is most definitely enough to kill it. Alright. Uh, I will then go ahead and make a move action over here to help out Erky Timbers. And then I will make a perfectly normal club attack because I've already <laughs> used my bonus action. Unfortunately, you've also normal. set the orphanage on fire. <laughs> That's a miss. It's it, perfectly yeah. normal. Even on the 11. What a shame. Oh, Olerbin continues to try his hardest. And I'm done. All right. So, uh, Alexander, an attack at you. Oof. Hold on, let me just double check. For some reason, my armor class keeps shooting down to 13. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know why. It's not taking into account certain things. I mean, 22 still hits me. Uh, I was just trying to remember if I had 16 or 17 armor class, because a shield would help. Spell, I mean, but eh, I'll just take two. Alright, so uh, Oathblaze? With advantage. Getting it tagged. 16. Nope. Mm -hmm. All right. Oath Blaze with advantage. I mean, the thing is, I do an average of two damage and he negates three, so. How are they getting advantage on him? Did because one move? This guy moved here. Flanking. Flanking with this one. Oh, okay. Uh, it just looked like this one was. There's like a dead one there, too. Yeah, he's just on top, on top of it okay. now. Gotcha. And without advantage. Nope. And without advantage. Ooh. And where'd you go? Uh, underneath. So move, just move the top to there the we go. There you go. So both of those are going to end up being targets. And one more with advantage. Nope. All right. And that kills you. Oh, because even if they save. Yeah, they take double damage. Fire damage, yeah. All the dead orphans. <laughs> They'll grow All back. All right. <laughs> no orphans will. Are they troll orphans? And <laughs> I mean, with fire damage doesn't Oh, matter. no. <laughs> Erky cast Sacred Flame. Fucking two. Trust me, Erky, we can share our disappointments together. This will be the disappointment corner of town. <laughs> disappointment square. Oh my goodness, that is just... It's just terrorizing this little house here. Oh wait, that's enough to kill it, actually. <laughs> 
Minions, huh? Oh, all right. Alexander, you're up. Shadow Spike. A miss. Yep. Yeah, I'm done. So I keep trying to figure out why my armor class is changing constantly. Oh, please. I take the one uh, in the north of me. I like multiple things uh, accidentally equipped in the equipment list. Not that affect armor class. Hmm. Oh, that's a critical. There we go. That's a critical. And... <laughs> yeah, he's... That was the one to the north of you? Yeah, so that's uh, 13 plus 10 fire damage. Uh, 23 points. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, too bad I don't have cleave like in third edition. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? Uh, I move here. Yeah, but then you'd be a warrior, wouldn't you? Fighter, sorry, fighter. All right, Nat. No, it was a feat of power they could have taken. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna take uh, take that one out. One uh, to the east of Oath Blaze. If I hit it with advantage, because I am sneaked and it's there. Double advantage. 21 hits. Oh, get deck. Eight damage. All right. And the twig blight falls. And um, stay exactly where I am and uh, do another bonus action hide for funsies. Not good. I'm hiding. Uh, that's my turn. All right, Olerbin. Okay. As a bonus action, I move this guy around, and I'm going to pop the Blight. With the Flaming Sphere. For nine damage. That'll kill it. That Even sure if it will. makes it savings throw. The best situation for that spell. Yep. Oh yeah, it's it's honestly really good. Yeah, that's that. I'm gonna start moving across town. Roll a flaming sphere through a rural community full of wooden <laughs> buildings, and oh look, there's three noble families here. They're, oh, everything's oh no, victory oh. to the proletariat. <laughs> All right, so Silverleaf down with the bourgeoisie. I guess One claw attack. I'll declare dodge action. So ten. Uh, I guess the other three are also going to get into range. Eight. Number three. No, no. That's as far as that goes. Oh, oh okay. Is um, Burning Sphere a uh, concentration spell? Just wondering. Uh, it is. If I get hit, I'll have to make a concentration. Right. Check. I mean, that's never going to happen. It's been like three it's or just... four rounds now, so. Yeah. All right. Erky. Uh... Come on, Erky, move those little legs. <laughs> All right, Alexander. All right. That's a hit. Well, I mean, it's dead. I don't need real damage. You killed one with two. I have a plus six modifier. We can do the math. It's dead. And goodbye. Oath, please. Uh, I move here. I attack this one. All right, what do you got? Uh, okay. You uh, you have dropped your weapon. I pick it up. No. Critical fail. You've dropped your weapon. You are unarmed till, uh, till your next round. Oh, no, oh no, now you can't counterattack. What do you think that's a statue <laughs> of? Uh, good question. Where is it? D-Y-D-D. -D. 
Is that a dead statue? I blow my whistle. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my turn. I was sure it's chasing it's out turn. about other things. I will. Um, I'm going to shoot the one since I got advantage on it. I'm going to shoot the one that's between both Blaze and Silverleaf there. Okay. Just, you know, take the fun away from them. Advantage gets me a hit. Nine damage plus four. Thirteen damage. All right, which is enough to kill it. And uh, I'm going to move up next to Erky here. And that's my turn after I bonus action stealth. Fifteen. All right. I'm done. All right, Olerbin. All right, let's go ahead and start with the bonus action. I'm just going to move this guy. Uh, sure. Let's do here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and pop this one. All right. So here we go. Yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> a, a burning heap. And then I will go ahead and wipe this one. Ash. A perfectly normal club. <laughs> okay. Or not. <laughs> not quite. Uh, w- knocking wood on wood just doesn't seem to be working. Why? <laughs> All right. And that's it. I'm done. All right. So, uh, two twig blights attacking you. Neither one has advantage. Both for 18. All right, that is going to be two hits, and the one that is there is going to have to make a another save. He's toast. Uh, most likely, incredibly likely, actually. Yeah, he's toast. All right, and Erky. Oh, Erky can make it. All right, why not? Uh, Welcome aboard. Sacred flame. Dexterity. Oh, I guess I did get hit. Uh, I believe concentration just... Yeah. I'm good. Well, I guess there's two of them, so let me... I'm I'm really good. Okay, so everything happened. Uh, What just happened there? They're just concentration checks. Oh, no, no, my computer. Oh, oh, your computer... Okay. Fun stuff. All right, so with that, the uh, the last of the twig blights in sight seems to have fallen. The townspeople run back into their homes, terrified, peeking out at you, and the mayor approaches. Thank you, thank you. I have no idea where they came from, but suddenly they were everywhere. It seems we came back just in time. I think it was coincided with when we uh, dealt with that tree and the control over the twig blights and they just went ra- just rampaging. That was like 12 hours ago. Yeah. Or more. I, it takes to, they have little legs like me. I've been I riding in the cart. I suppose it would be worth telling you of our experiences, uh, Mayor. Uh, and we all have plenty of time to do that. I suspect this might be all there is to it, but without... Um, the one who used to control the tree in power, I believe his minions may have gone astray. Though interesting that they were already planted underneath town. I think... I think I might have some answers for you. Come see me tonight after after the evening meal. We'll talk. There are things that I think it's time you knew. Very well, then. I must take these bodies to the chapel of Herodias. I'm fair with the priest there. Of course. For what? And compared to the priestess, as we do the uh, interment. Oh, sorry. The the holy rites of the paladin. I heard you had an affair with the priest there. I said I heard the wrong thing. Yes, you did. (laughs) All right, uh, I'll go with, um, and I'm going to just kind of stand guard over our stuff because the other stuff that's in the, uh, I'm not going to go into the 
the chapel. I'm just going to stand watch. There you go. Make sure nobody goes you can for deal with the dead. I'll return to my cabin. I see you've taken to the same sort of map shenanigans that I have. Oh, yes, indeed. You burned down the orphanage. You labeled a, a cabin. All right. And I realize it's a couple of minutes early, but I think that is the perfect place to leave it for tonight, guys. Yeah, nice good high note. Yay. So, yes. Yes, there will be much uh much to do next session. And there was much rejoicing. I like how the mayor is but, next to the jail. But you have uh, you have now completed the Sunless Citadel. Congratulations. Woo! Hooray! Uh, nice. Break, Your next stop will be the Forge of Fury. <laughs> <gasps> will it? Will it be full of anger and fury? Those multicolor tents Not can't be shops. Think. Shops are over here. What are you talking about? <laughs> it clearly says shops. Again, it's not my shit against the mayor. Lives next to the jail. <laughs> he likes to keep a close eye on people. And when you go to stay at the, the inn, mail resides in this town hall kind of situation here. It's not so unusual that the jail would be nearby the magistrate. I'm actually surprised he doesn't live in the uh, little three noble estate over there. Also, when that... you uh, break out of jail, you go right to the smithy to get your weapons and armor. <laughs> <laughs> You got a plan already. The prison to adventure pipeline. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, haven't you ever played a Bethesda game? Of course, yeah. if you're the hero, you started in prison. Well, I right? mean, the garrison couldn't be any further from jail. There's a problem. <laughs> yeah, escape from jail, kill the town rat, you know. Get that hunchback on the way out. Oh, that was the very shit. Oh, no. Oh, I've made a horrible a mistake. Condition. I gotta go. Alright. So I believe we do have uh, treasure shenanigans, but uh, we'll be covering that over the week. Yep, right on. Alright then. So, uh, anything right. we want to wrap up with? Yes. Now that you have some kind of a reputation in town, now you can try selling your crossbows and shit. I'm a noble. Woo. These sons of bitches are bowing to me. You're an elf. I oh. am a servant of the mayor. Which of the three noble homes do you own? All of them. Yeah. Th those are for three different families. Says you. You live in the woods. No matter how <laughs> you long you're down an orphanage. <laughs> the greed of mankind on full display here. Three noble families is just the name of the court where all my three houses are. <laughs> the town suburbs is called the Three Noble Family. Oh my! <laughs> you have Sunnydale, Sunnydale, and the Three Noble Families. That's not actually a jail. It's just an inn called Jail. Mm -hmm. It's a cheap house. <laughs> All righty then. Well, I guess for now. Um. Thanks for running, and we'll catch everybody next time. Like, comment, subscribe, call to actions, get our brand new plushies we just declared we're going to do. <laughs> and see you next time.